In addition to Jeremy Lin's signature sneakers, XDEF has also launched several more interesting mid-end basketball shoes during this window period, such as the XDEF Fighting Series basketball shoes that we will introduce today. Regarding this pair of sneakers, a very interesting new color matching has been exposed on the internet recently. The Monster University joint model of XDEF's Fierce Battle Series basketball shoes. On the outside of the tongue of this pair of XDEF Fierce Battle Series basketball shoes, Monster University joint model, XDEF also designed a pattern of the fur monster Venus fly trap, in order to name the theme of the color matching design of this pair of sneakers. In addition, this Venus flytrap pattern is obviously a special Q version design, which is very interesting. On the heel strap of this pair of XDEF Fighting Series basketball shoes, Monster University, joint model, XDEF also made an exclusive design that can reflect the color matching identity of this pair of sneakers. In addition, XDEF also made an X-shaped TPU module design on the heel of this pair of sneakers to improve the wrapping and support performance of the heel of this pair of sneakers. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Thank <laughs> you.
How to determine the traction of the rubber outsole? We will go back to basic formula of coefficient of friction. Friction occurs in two ways, kinetic and static. Kinetic friction acts on an object that slides across a surface, whereas static friction occurs when friction prevents the object from moving. A simple but effective model for friction is that the force of friction, F, is equal to the product of the normal force, N, and a number called the coefficient of friction, U. The coefficient is different for every pair of materials that contact each other, including a material that interacts with itself. The normal force is the force perpendicular to the interface between two sliding surfaces, in other words, how hard they push against each other. There is a distinct coefficient of kinetic friction and coefficient of static friction for each scenario. These two types of friction help to describe how an object moves. The formula to calculate the coefficient of friction is mu equals F divided by N. The friction force, F, always acts in the opposite direction of the intended or actual motion, but only parallel to the surface. In colloquial terms, I will show you the values of rubber outsole traction or grip in terms of coefficient of traction. Nominally, good traction for rubber outsole is 0 0.8. 0 0.8 and above value is R perfect 10 over 10. Sliding surface ranges from 0 0.4 and below. Wood is around 0 0.25 to 0 0.5. Rubber soled shoes on a brushed concrete surface can generate a coefficient of friction of over 1.0. In general, a coefficient of friction of 0.4 to 0.5 is considered a good traction offering. This value will be 5 over 10. A decibel meter is a measuring instrument used to assess noise or sound levels by measuring sound pressure. Often referred to as a sound pressure level SPL, meter, decibel dB, meter, noise meter or noise dosimeter, a sound level meter uses a microphone to capture sound. What is an acceptable noise level? Generally, exposure to sound levels above 85 decibels is considered damaging to human hearing. That is why this is the most common maximum value allowed in industrial environments. For residential environments, the accepted decibel level is lower. Any noise exceeding 70 decibels is considered disturbing.
According to Newton's third law, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. When we hit the ball on ground then in this case there is an equal and opposite force on the ball in the upward direction due to ground Newton's third law, which makes it bounce. Bouncing ball involves a single impact we call this property, rebound resilience, and express it as the ratio of the rebound height to the initial drop height of the ball. We will apply this to the insole and midsole and compute for the reaction or bounce in percentage rate. Note, this is not a resilience test but bounce reaction rate test on the insole and midsole to determine quality of bounce, zoom or other terms used by different manufacturer.